All right, in this video, I'm going to be talking about shape files. Um, so shape files are a way to format data, data that can be loaded into um, a geodata frame. And so the only geodata frames we've saw before are the ones that come with GeoPandas. We have one for um, you know all the countries of the world, and then uh, many of the major cities. Uh, but there's lots of shape files available online, and I'm going to show you how we can grab some of these and create our own maps. And we'll often be pulling different shape files together. And, uh, and combining them to make a map. So in this one, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get three, or I'm sorry, four shape files uh, from the city of Madison um, to show a map of where all the police departments are and um, all the fire stations. So here I am on the city of Madison website, and I'm going to go to data, and um, and you can see the state is on this ArcGIS site. Uh, GIS stands for Geographic Information Systems. And so I'm going to scroll down here. There's lots of different data sets here. Um, in order to make our maps, we're interested in boundaries. So I'll click on this. And um, it's probably worthwhile kind of scrolling through if you're ever doing a project related to your city um, and seeing what is available because, well, there's only, you know, a few dozen here. Um, but I already know what I'm looking for. So the first thing I'm interested in are the city limits, which I'll find here. And I'll jump straight to that one. And uh, they're actually showing you a preview of what the state looks like above, right? They're showing you the shape um, of what is part of the city of Madison. And uh, I want to download this data. <coughs> so I'm going to click on here, and uh, I want to download the shape file. I could click it like that and download it to my laptop. Um, I'm not going to do that right now. Um, instead, I'm going to copy this link, this shape file link, right click on that, uh, save link as. And, oh, I'm sorry, I don't want to do that either. I'm going to right-click on it, copy link address. And, um, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to head over to my terminal on my virtual machine. So let me, let me head here. And great. And, and let me just head to where I'm doing this uh, project. I already have a notebook started, so I have to go to the same place. Uh, great. And, um, and so here I am, and, uh, and the way I can download this data is using the wget command. So I'm going to say wget, uh, paste that, say ls. I, I see that it has this weird name here, right? So I'm going to say, I'm going to give it a better name. I'm going to call that nvdb89 tab. I hit the tab to key to complete that. And maybe I'll call this city.zip. Right, so still a zip file, but a little bit of a shorter name. Um, let me head over to my notebook and see how I can plot this data. <coughs> um, excuse me. So let me make this a little bit larger. Um, so I'm going to import uh, GeoPandas. And that takes a moment. And then I say geopandas.readfile. And the name of my file is city.zip. I mean, that's what I called it. And I may run that. And I get this error. It's not a recognized um, format. Uh, it turns out that there's a bunch of stuff inside of those zip files. So if I actually head back here, and um, right here I am. If I say on zip dash L, so this just is going to list what's in there without actually extracting it. <coughs> I see that they have the actual shape file and then a bunch of complementary information. I could if I wanted to extract it right here, uh, but it turns out that uh, GeoPandas also understands how to um, extract it as needed. I just have to tell it that it's a zip file, and the way I do that is I specify the protocol, which is zip colon slash slash. This might look pretty familiar to you, right? It's very similar to something like this. I'm just specifying what protocol I'm using. So I'm going to say, hey, I want to open up this zip file. Um, and then don't get confused, this is still a relative path, right? These slashes are not part of the path. They're just telling me it's a zip file. So I'm looking for a local city.zip file uh, right here. So I'm going to do that, and I see, okay, there I go. I have my uh, GeoPandas data frame with the geometry. Um, let me capture that in a variable like so. So I'm going to do that, and I'm just going to say city.plot. And, uh, and there you go, that's the outline of the city. You can see in this white area where the lakes are. Um, let, let me make it a little bit of a lighter color. So I'm going to say color equals 
0 0.5. Um, let me lighten that a little bit more. Maybe I'll say a 0 0.85. Um, often when you're drawing color or data on top of the maps, you want to make the map background itself relatively light um, so the data pops out. And in particular, we're going to be putting points on here um, to show where the city uh, fire uh, fire departments are and the and the um, and the police stations. Okay, so before I get to that, let's actually look, go back here. And the other piece of data I'm interested in um, is lakes, just to make a nice looking map. So I'm gonna go to lakes and rivers, and there I can see, well, it's a bunch of different shapes for each lake and each river. I'm gonna do the same thing here. I'm gonna right click on shape file, copy link address. I'm gonna download this, I'm gonna say W get, paste that, and, and then, before when I did this, I got this weird file name that I had to rename. Um, if I want to, I can say uh, dash O. Actually, that's not right. Dash capital O. Right, capital O. And then I can give it a name, right? So maybe I'll call this water.zip. So I do that, and now I see I have my city.zip and my water.zip. And I'm going to head back here and grab that other piece. Right, so I'm going to paste this. I have the water. It's inside of my water.zip file. And, and I can plot that as well. So if I say water.plot, I guess I have the two separate maps. So maybe what I need to do is I need to capture the AX object and then tell the water that it should go to that same place. So AX equals AX. Um, that, that blue is a nice default color. Maybe I'll make it a slightly uh, lighter blue. I'll say color equals light blue. Uh, there we go. That's not a bad looking map as a base. Um, so let me go back and grab these other two pieces. So head back here. Um, I also wanted the uh, police, police stations, and um, there's a few of them around Madison. So let me let me grab this. I need the shape file. Uh, I'll put that to police.zip. And um, and then the last one I need is. Um, the fire, the fire stations, police stations and fire stations. And, and there's a few more of these. So I may copy this now. Copy link address, W get that thing, uh, dash capital O, fire.zep. All right, so this looks good. So now here I am and I can, I can grab these other things as well, right? So I will grab uh, the fire, and I will grab the police. All right. And um, and why didn't that work? I didn't have the fire. Why did it not have the fire? Let, let me try the other one quick. I'm a little perplexed here. Uh, the police are working. The fire department is not. Let me let me just remove this. I wonder if I downloaded it somehow funny. So I'm gonna do that, and then let me if I run this now, what happens? So let's try to fail because it ha doesn't have the data. Uh, so so let me try re-downloading that thing. All right. So copy this. Oh, that was a spreadsheet. That's why if I was downloading the spreadsheet. Let me actually download uh, the shape file. I'm going to hit Control R here and then W get. Oh, Control R, W get. And that takes me back to um, the previous time I ran a command with W get. Like this. I don't have to retype it all. Um, now, if I come here and run this, I wonder what's wrong with that zip file. Let me let me take a peek at this. On zip. Well that seems to be the problem, right? It's not a zip file. So so I guess the problem is in my code, right? I actually have a problem with the file itself. Let me just take try this one more time. Copy lake address. Well, that seems good. Let me try moving it. 
I must have just not not re grabbed that. But if I try this, well, that seems good. Let me, I don't know what I'm doing here. You, you probably all are noticing, but you can't tell me right now since we're remote. Uh, but that seems to work. Okay, so I just must have downloaded something wrong. Um, let me plot these other ones. So I'm going to say fire dot plot um, ax equals ax. Uh, we'll make them red, of course. Yeah, and so I have all these nice red dots on the city. And then um, let, let's get the police too, and of course we'll make them blue. So I will um, I will make these uh, police. Oh, police. Oh, I can't type. Police will be blue dots. Okay, that looks pretty good. Now um, these don't necessarily stand out a lot. It wouldn't look good if I printed it on black and white. Um, it might be hard for anybody to read um, uh, who's colorblind. So it's a good thing to do um, is also control the shape of it so it'll stand out a little bit more. So I'm also going to do this. I'm going to say marker equals, and then I, you know, right now the default is O. I'm going to make it be this little plus sign for the fire department so it looks like that. Okay, so that looks pretty good. Um, a couple more things, though, that we need. Uh, we want to have some um, sort of legend here, so let me do that. Uh, I'm going to say from matplotlib import pi plot is plt, and then here I'm going to say plt dot legend. And, and the problem is there's no labels right now, so when I'm plotting the fire department and the police department, I should say something like this, label equals fire station, I'll just say fire for short, uh, and then here the label will equal police, and, um, and that's a nice looking map. Um, I think I can clean it up a little bit though. Uh, there's a few things that we can do. Um, one is that, uh, why crowd this space? I have a bunch of empty space over here in the top left. Um, so I'm going to do this, I'm going to say LOC, which is location. I can pass a string here. And one of the strings I can do is, you know, upper right, which is what it is now. Um, I want it to be in the upper left. That looks a little bit better. Um, and, unless it's crowded, I think it often looks cleaner uh, to get rid of that frame. So frame on equals false, right? I mean, I think it's perfectly clear. People know that that's part of the legend. It's not part of the map. Um, and, then, and then the last thing I want to do here is is to get rid of these um, latitude longitudes, right? That's not really interesting to anybody uh, for this particular map, right? So the way I'll do that is I'll say uh, ax dot set axis off. And I run that, and uh, and that's a nice looking map. Maybe I'll make it just a tiny bit bigger. Fig size equals uh, twelve, comma twelve. Okay, and, and now I have a nice map of of the city.